दीज वुड्स आर लवली डार्क एंड डीप बट आई हैव प्रोमिस टू कीप एंड माइल्स टू गो बिफोर आई स्लीप एंड माइल्स टू गो बिफोर आई स्लीप माई डर लविंग चिल्ड्रन आई वेलकम यू इन दिस वंडरफुल ऑनलाइन टीचिंग लर्निंग सेशन आई होप यू विल बी एंजॉइंग दिस सेशन my dear children today i am going to explain you a very beautiful and very meaningful poem entitled the road not taken composed by a great and popular american poet robert lee frost dear children the road not taken the road not taken means what what does it mean let me clarify you this title the road not taken the poet wants to say that the road not taken means the decision which a person doesn't take at the right time and because of that the result is not coming nicely desired result is not achieved because of the indecisiveness so that's why he is laying emphasis on the road road is the symbolism of the choices of the life the decision of the life that we take to travel our journey so here the decisions which have not been taken by the poet or by a person or by a common person so the poet is laying emphasis and trying to clarify is that one should take the right decision at right time in right manners now let me come to the poem two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i couldn't travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth the poet says that once he had stood at the fork at the point or at a place in the forest and he has observed two paths going into two different directions the poet is in dilemma which path he should follow which path he should go my dear children the poet has tried to correlate the reality of the life we human beings also sometime come in dilemma what we should do which path we should go what sort of ambition we should make what decision we should take to get the fruitful result so this is the common nature of the human beings it's quite but natural that sometimes we also feel that which decision we should take so here he is telling that two roads two roads means two roads are symbolized here to two paths two aims two goals of the lives in the real life situation two roads are compared to the two paths of the life to goal job the life and here we have to be very wise enough to decide which path we should go so this is the metaphorically presented here here it is metaphor extended metaphor in fact so when there is comparison of two dissimilar things in implied manner that is called metaphor so he is telling two roads diverge diverge means separated two roads diverge mean yellow wood dear children you should understand what does it mean this yellow wood yellow wood means here that that forest is full of dry leaves or flowers which had fallen from the trees and it has made aloes all the ground so 
But one thing more you have to understand here. This yellow is means yellow wood means the poet is trying to represent the culture. Allow yellow means old culture, old customs. He's talking about his old community where he he was growing, where he he has he had lived his life. He was talking about that also. In that context also he had tried to present there. But here we have to understand that we are talking about the people who are living with the old people where a lot of tradition, orthodox people are there. They will always try to poke their noses and try to divert you from your own decision. They will create problems because they are problem problematic people. They will keep you in confusion. So what you should do? You should take right decision. You should have firm determination. Because to determine to succeed, succeed is the surest way to success. One should have, one should have unflinching faith in oneself. One should never be fluctuated by those crooked people, those orthodox people, those people who are not rational, who are not logical, who are trying to deviate you and deflect you from your path. So, Alois, as you have understood, this is autumn season when the poet is describing. Here, and sorry, I couldn't travel both. The poet is telling that he can't travel the both paths at a time because single person can travel only one path at a time. One cannot travel two paths. And be one traveler, long I stood. He's telling that he, he is standing at one place and he's trying to observe. He's trying to observe the direction for the long path. Here, and looked down. He's looking down. He's looking down one path. Both paths are there, but out of them, he's looking down one path as far as he can. He's trying to observe one path to follow, and he's looking that path and to where it bent in the undergrowth. It represents here the path. The path is bending in the bushes or the plants, growing plants. So the path has been hidden by this undergrowth, the bushes and the growing plants. So my dear children, this is the literal meaning and it has been metaphorically related with the real life situation. You have to understand this city. Some poetic devices also, as I have told you, two roads are symbolism and already I have explained you. Here, uh, you can see here the rhyme scheme also. What is the rhyme scheme here? You can write A, B, this is A, A, B. So, this is A, B, A, A, B. This is the rhyme scheme because there is rhyming words, wood, stood, here also, both, growth. So, wood, stood, and could. These are the rhyming words. So, the rhyme is, rhyming scheme will be A, B, A, A, B. This is the rhyming scheme. A, B, A, A, B. Rhyming scheme. So these are technically, and somewhere you can see this is adjoins, roads, O, this vowels are emphasized here. That's why where vowel sounds are emphasized, that is called adjoins. Where consonant sounds are emphasized, that is called consonants. So this is the basic thing that you have to understand. And here, three words, and, and, and. This is anaphora. What is anaphora? When the same words are repeated continuously in the consecutive, consecutive three lines, in the beginning of the lines. So this is called anaphora. And like this, children, you have to understand. And overall, this is all about the poem. But in the next session, I will explain you about the second stanza. Thank you, children. Thank you so much. Have a, have a, have a nice day.